Welcome to the first annual Tribal Economic Outlook Conference. It doesn't say first annual, I think, on the agenda for today, but it's going to be the first annual. Um, we'll be doing this again next year, um, and we look forward to seeing you again then. Uh, we're very excited to bring you this event. We're hoping to make this an annual event. Um, this is an offshoot of our annual uh, Alliance Bank Business Outreach Center Economic Outlook Conference, which is going to have its 40th anniversary in the fall. Um, so that event has been so successful. Levi Esquera, who uh, is the director of our Center for American Indian Economic Development, decided that we should try something that's much more focused on uh, tribal economic development, and that's why we're here. So you'll hear a variety of uh, interesting topics addressed today. And I hope you find it valuable. Uh, if you really like it, it's all the idea of me. If you don't like it, it's all on Levi. <laughs> Levi told me he was counsel, that his job was to make his boss look good. And I think that's a pretty tall order when you look like I do, but hopefully you can pull it off. Uh, I do want to take just a minute to recognize a few groups of people First and more, most importantly, can all of our students stand up? So here, here at NAU, we're all about the students. Uh, I look at our job as a university and as a college to help prepare students to go on to lead, lead successful, meaningful lives. We're really glad that I think we have about 50, 55 students here uh, from NAU, from high school. We, um, uh, upward Bound students, said you guys are all here. So th this is really nice, and I hope the students will understand that the other people that are here would like to meet you. So don't be afraid to go up and introduce yourself to uh, to anybody that's here. But just to make sure, anybody who doesn't want to meet a student, would you still please stand <laughs> so we can uh, ridicule you momentarily? See, they they all want to meet you, so it's all good. Um, I would also like to thank a few uh, people. First of all, and organizations. First of all, uh, the Alliance Bank of Arizona. Um, this is sponsored by the Alliance Bank Business Outreach Center, which is the College of Business's arm for doing economic uh, outreach, economic development work, consulting, that sort of thing. We appreciate their support. There are also a number of other sponsors who are listed on the back of your program. We appreciate their support as well. Um, especially since this is the first time we've done this. So you didn't know exactly what you're sponsoring, but it, it's going to be great, I promise you. Uh, where's Kirsten? Wave your hand. So Levi and Kirsten make all of this happen. The reason that there's food here today, the reason that there's coffee here today, is all on Kirsten. And so I think we should give her a big round of applause. She's so good, she even pointed out to me that there's decaf and regular coffee, so I need more. <laughs> and that's taking care of all the details. Um, we'd also like to recognize Gwen, who's Gwen Cody. Here, there's Gwen. Gwen is also a big help on this event and in all of Kayak's uh, efforts. Um, and then you'll see some other people wandering around that are helpful as well. And so everybody that had a part in this, I would like to thank you. Uh, but now it's my great pleasure to introduce the Honorable uh, Jonathan M. Nez. He's a supervisor for Navajo, Navajo County District 1. He's also a proud NAU alum uh, from the School of Social and Behavioral Sciences. I know we have some SPS people back there, so they're very happy to see you. He's going to offer up uh, an invocation to start this off on the right foot. If you would all please stand. Appreciate it. Good, good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, ben. Um, let me just brief, quickly uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jonathan Nez. For our uh, for our Navajo relatives here, uh, 
appreciate the invitation uh, for doing the, uh, the prayer to start us off. As you all know, as Native peoples, that's the first thing that we do. We're very spiritual. And I always pride uh, all our tribal communities that even when we do a meeting, the first thing we do is we do a prayer. Even though many people throughout the world are taking that away from us, tribal communities always implement that. So I appreciate the, the invitation to do that. So let us pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. 